Hey guys, Serial Simmer here. Welcome back to our 100 baby challenge here in Tartosa with Stella Paza. We, I'm so excited to finally be jumping back in today. I haven't played in quite a while, you guys. And with Horse Ranch coming out, I wanted to jump back in and make sure that I didn't lose my motivation and um, my steam, I guess, on this game. So we are currently at baby count, I think 13. Um, and we need to get Stella pregnant again. We definitely need to start earning money because we have these three triplets here. We have Roberto, Gia, and Ferenzo. Just about ready to age up we are just waiting on forenzo to become a grade a student um so that we can age them up but they all have high confidence um and should be ready to go we have ignacio who we need to keep working on and then last time i think we aged up baby gerardo into a toddler so he needs to start working on his toddler skills and we have two twins here so we have a set of triplets that are kids that we're working on aging up into teenagers and then hopefully getting the heck out of this house so we have some more room because Mama Stella right now, she can't even get pregnant um, and she's aging up and she's aging up and she's aging up and it is stressing me out. Um, so I need to get these kids, the triplets out of the house as soon as possible. Um, let me check here when our birthdays are. It looks like Thursday. We have the twins' birthdays, Cortez and Luca. Um, thank you guys for submitting those name suggestions. Again, if you want to submit name suggestions, just go ahead and comment those below. I do ask that you keep it like five name suggestions and under. Otherwise, I'll just do like the first five that you comment. Um, just because it takes a little while for me to enter those manually into our little spreadsheet. So yeah, with all that said, I think let's go ahead and start filming. I think this is episode number 25, which is so crazy. I feel like I've been saying that as soon as we hit the 20s. I just keep saying every single episode, like how crazy it is that we are on this number of episode now and that we're on this number of episode now, but it is, it's crazy to me. This one has ended up outside of his crib somehow. Mama Stella just jumped back here and we need to change Cortez's diaper now. Oh my gosh, it looks like we might need to change Luca's too, but he's sleeping. Got your baby Gerardo, our toddler Gerardo. Oh, you had a blowout. Okay, good, Cortez. Thank you so much for starting us off this episode with a blowout. Ugh. All right, we'll give him a bath when we're done with that. And then for Renzo, have you done your homework? Because you guys have, let me see, who's been doing this? Assist with this project. This project is this? Is this Chia's? Is it Ignacio's? Um, Enzio Paz is calling to chat, sure. Um, it must be one of the kids that has moved out of the house. All right, Ignacio <laughs> is sleeping out here. Why do I feel like he did that when he was a toddler? Or maybe it was Gerardo in the last episode, but I feel like Ignacio really likes sleeping in the tent. Oh, that's right. And we have this. So we're going to grab a serving of that for you. Let's just go ahead and get Roberto up here. Gia is sleeping. Mama Stella, get off. Oh, she's chatting with Ignacio because he called. Oh my gosh, this is disgusting. So we are going to go ahead and give Cortez a bath, I hope bathe. Okay. Yes. We're going to go ahead and bathe Cortez now. And then Mama Stella herself, she needs some food. She needs a bath. So I guess getting her pregnant is going to be just on the back burner again, because we have no more room in our household right now. We really need to get these guys aged up and out. First bath milestone unlocked. Spick and span. Nothing's better than a clean, happy Cortez after his first bath. Aww. All right, so we've got Cortez. Oh, he really needs some food. So let's go ahead and see if we can't get mommy to feed him. And then he needs to go back to bed so we can put him in here. Let me get that all queued up and see if I can't get mom to take a shower. Let's make sure that you guys are all up to date on your homework. Ignacio has not done his homework, so he needs to do that. Someone is calling Ignacio. Congratulations on your recent birthday from, I believe this one is Dominic. Doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure that's that one's name. <laughs> that's one of our other kids. Quirk picky eater. Cortez is a very particular about food. Ugh. Not a fan of that trait. What are you trying to feed him again? Didn't you just feed him? Jeez, mama. No wonder he's a picky eater. He's like, stop. I'm done. I'm full. Okay, putting him to bed. I think he's gonna try to go night. Nah, nah. Oh, that's one sleeping. Go night. Nah, nah. Which means that he's gonna cry in the background for a minute. Let's see. Tell a bedtime story. Oh, Gia just autonomously decided to go tell him a bedtime story because he was crying and mom needed to take a shower. Oh, oh my gosh, that is so cute. Gia, you are just the sweetest. 
Let's see. Do it again. Okay, let's start dragging these in because they are literally everywhere in this house. Yay. They finished their um, school project. Oh my gosh, look, there's more of these things up here from Harvest West. <laughs> my brain is a little slow right now, guys. Tired. Okay. Mama Stella is eating something. The triplets kind of don't really have anything to do until tomorrow. So I'm going to let them hang out. This one is doing his homework. Gerardo, Luca, and Cortez are all asleep. And then I really think, Mama Stella, we need you to make some more food. So as soon as you're done with that, what could we make? Just like, we need like the vat. We need like the giant vat of um, mac and cheese for the kids. <laughs> Just the giant cauldron, the cauldron. I keep calling it a vat, but I hardly ever play with the spell casters, guys. So I usually don't call it the right thing. Still can now prepare prosciutto wrapped asparagus. Ooh. Ignacio has completed his homework for the day. Yay. Okay. So which one is your bed? Ferenzo, Alberto, Gia. Hmm. Why don't we go ahead and assign this one actually to Ignacio and I'm going to move you guys over here. So let's assign this one to Ferenzo. This one can be Roberto's and then this one will be Gia's. So that means Ferenzo, if you're going to go to take a sleep, you're going to go over here. <gasps> Ooh, he wants to place tooth under the pillow and sleep. Perfect. Oh, and you're really sad. Why are you sad? No attention left. Aw, buddy. You're sitting on your brother's bed also. You need to move. Okay, what's she doing? She's trying to ask for some help with biking. That's not going to happen. Oh, go entertain this one. You're so good at helping. Just, I need you to help for just a minute. Okay, did we finish at least one meal? Yes, we've got some garlic noodles over here. Luca, what do you need? You need some food. More baby care. Feed, breastfeed. Okay, mama will take over from here. Thank you very much. Let's see, you do have a loose tooth, so why don't you go ahead? I'm gonna have her pull right out. I don't wanna watch, it kinda grosses me out. Oh, Alberto's crying. What the heck? Ferenzo's out in the thing. Okay. Kids, we need everybody to sleep in their own bed. Get off the couch. Please sleep in your own beds. All right, so she pulled out her tooth. We're gonna have her go and place the tooth under the pillow and sleep. Okay, change Luca's diaper. What else does he need? Oh, he needs to go again already? Good Lord. He is a little bit stinky, so maybe, whoopsies. Maybe what I will do is go ahead and just clean him up after this. Clean up. Oh no, the other one's awake too. No, you are not. Dude, go back to sleep. You're tired. Pee and caregiver milestone unlocked. Oh, lovely. <laughs> we just took a bath. All right, well, at least when Jaretta wakes up, he'll be somewhat self-sufficient. We can have him go and do this. Can you practice going potty by yourself now? No, you need some help with that. Mama, let's just change that diaper one more time. And then I'm gonna, <laughs> we're literally just gonna do the same thing we just did. Cortez, go back to sleep. Okay, and then we're gonna focus on Luca for a little bit. I think I'm going to, yes, did you go to sleep? Hallelujah, let's talk to him for a minute. Because that's supposed to help with the uh, like pincer grasp milestone, I think, talking and playing, right? What are you doing? Let's try to go night night. Did he go to sleep yet? No, what's going on? He's still trying to go to sleep. I'm getting hungrier and hungrier by the second. Okay, well, they're out in the hallway now, so hopefully he will be able to sleep a little bit easier in this room. Let's go ahead and auto lights all the lights too so we don't have such high bills. Did we actually do tummy time? I don't think so. Oh, we got the grab milestone. Hallelujah. Play peekaboo. And then I think if we put Luca down here, we can like play with him on the mat. So I'm gonna try and do that. Still trying to go night night with him in the background. Having a hard time sleeping back here, huh? And now that one's crying because I'm making him do tummy time, which is just fabulous. All the screaming and crying in this game is just the best. I'm going to go over here and try to... I will complete this challenge. I will complete this challenge. Mm -mm -mm. Want night night. Ooh, roll over to back milestone unlocked. Awesome. Okay, so we need to go ahead and put Luca down. Which I think we're gonna do really quickly. And then I think I'm gonna go over here and try to soothe Cortez to sleep because he's really having a tough time. No, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Play with your toys. You can handle it, you can handle it. Mama Stella, we have got to change this thing. We have got to clean that, it's so gross. Okay, could we play another lullaby? Oh, did he finally go to sleep? Wait, 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 is he sleeping? How was he not asleep? What is going on? This kid's crazy. Can we tell you a bedtime story? Kiss goodnight. Now mommy really needed the baby to go to sleep and the baby fell fast asleep. Okay, and then we need to play with Luca. No, 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 Luca. I don't want you to go night night. That's only for brother right now. 
And Gerardo's up. Okay, well, he's at least going to go and get some food. He's kind of self-sufficient. Oh, and it's almost morning. All right, everybody's getting ready for school. Oh, dear. Can you guys call? We can replace. We're going to go ahead and just do that. We don't have time for this. Gerardo's finding somewhere to sit, I think. He's walking all around the house to get the food and then to find somewhere to sit. Okay, so okay, Luca's going to go to sleep. Gerardo's ugh, on a never-ending mission to find the perfect spot to sit. He's going to starve before he actually gets to eat anything, I swear. Where are you at? You really need some food. Let's go ahead and wake you up. Good night, bud. That's always what it sounds like to me. And then we're going to breastfeed this one. Okay, these guys are all just hanging out. I want everybody to clean up after themselves, though. Did you finally sit down? Yeah, and now you're using your diaper. Love that for us. This episode ends when we age up these teenagers. Or we age up these kids today. So let's go ahead and see if we can say small talk, talk to Cortez, and then play with Cortez. He is very tired, so we might need to have him try to go night night right here in just a second. All right, now what is Gerardo up to? Why don't I get um, Gerardo to come in here and just babble his little heart away to Big Puds? Ignacio, Roberto, Gia, Ferenza, everybody's going to school. These guys are all doing great. Oh, it looks like Cortez fell asleep. <laughs> Mom's still trying to play with him. Uh, let's do a smooth apology. Sorry, I don't have more time to spend with you. We can joke about old times. You don't feel good? <gasps> no, 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 no. Mama. Mama. Take your medicine. Wait, don't. No, we don't want to skip, but also I need you to skip school for just a minute and then you can go after you take your medicine. Take your medicine before you go to school. We're not going to skip. We're still going. Okay, phew. He feels better. Study hard. Gerardo's getting his bath. The twins are asleep. Everyone else is about to be at school. Nice work, Gia. Completing school projects really has a positive impact on your grade. She's already an A student, so I was kind of hoping to see that for Ferenzo and not Gia, but okay. Oh, and mom is exhausted. Okay, so let's let mama go ahead and get some sleep, and we will work with Gerardo here in the imagination tent. And I don't know if you guys knew this, but if you are on an adult sim, you can actually turn these things off. I did not know that for way too long. <laughs> and the sound of them going all of the time was actually driving me super duper crazy. And then Mama Stella, I think we have some satisfaction points that we can use. 6,000. What other like, <laughs> we could do frugal so that our bills are less. That would be pretty helpful. Incredibly friendly might be good. Beguiling could be really good. Ooh, antiseptic, mm. fertile, souvent, a money tree, <laughs> forever full, never weary. I kind of want never weary, honestly. That would be so amazing. Honestly, guys, I might for right now not get anything. And then if we get 10,000 points, I'm getting never weary. It's in the freaking game. It's not cheating. Okay. Caregiver, be to a child for two hours. We can do these things. Okay. This will be our new aspiration for now. Pat the Badger earning us $22 today. Level three of the imagination skill. That means time to move on. We. Are, oh, I wish hit wasn't the first one. I wish it wasn't the very first one right there because that's where my mouse always goes. And then I'm making my toddlers hit the stinking stuffed animals, which is not a good look. Nobody likes that. Also, it's really hot in here. And we have the thermostat set too hot also, which is not great. <gasps> Luca's awake and starving. Baby care, feed, breastfeed. Congratulations on your recent birthday? I didn't have a recent birthday. That was weird. Hello maid, we missed you over the weekend. And I think let's go ahead and put Luca down here while mama grabs some food. Communication level three. Whoa, dude, you are flying. Okay, so that means what does he need thinking? So that means it's time to watch the mom. Be back in 10 hours once I finish clicking through all of these things. Today's mail has been delivered. We owe $12,000. Oh, oh. Okay, maybe we should have gotten frugal. Holy crap. You guys, no. What? This is bonkers. 12 grand? This auto lights is not making much of a difference, is it? All right, mom, we need to serve some butternut squash. We got the laugh milestone with Cortez. That's pretty cute. I'm gonna have him go ahead and play with some toys until we can get over there. <gasps> Whoa, we got a grab milestone with Cortez. Woohoo! 
Do, 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 do. Friendly activities. Watch. Does that count? Oh, that's cute. We can watch the babies. Quirk revealed distractive. Oh, because I was having him play with pots and pans. Come on now. Should Gia invite over classmate Grace? I'm going to say no this time. Grades are up. B student for Ignacio. Ferenzo is an A student. Do you know what that means? Gia has returned from school. Roberto's A. Friends are returned with a school project, school project, school project. Roll over to back milestone for Cortez. Heck yes, that means we are so close to being able to sit, but we will be aging you guys up as soon as possible. And then I am going to go ahead and let Mama Stella miss these birthdays. Let's go ahead and get Alberto. We'll just go Alberto, Gia, Ferenzo, just like it is down here. What is this one doing? Ask for advice and we'll just go potty and then I need you to like go ride your bike or something. Roberto, I just up and missed it, you guys. I'm so sorry. He was cleaning up a plate and I thought I had a little bit more time than that. Apparently not. Okay. He's earned the bonus trait of high self-esteem and we randomized traits. He is a bro. Aw. Okay, let's go ahead and pick 18 aspiration for him. Drama Llama will work. Let's check out what he looks like. Oh my gosh, so cute. And you're old enough to hire a repair service now. That's so good. Okay, so thinking is actually at level three. So we're going to stop with that for now. And maybe now that mom is free, she can potty train Gerardo, even though he has already pottied in his diaper. Gia is over here. We need you to blow out the candles. We're not gonna miss yours. Okay, Luca had a blowout. <laughs> He's having her birthday with the broken dishwasher right here. The only one to witness is the crying baby and the repairman who seems sad for some reason. Okay, so she's a dog lover and also a mean person. Okay. <laughs> Uh, teenager, live fast. That seems like a good one, but she does have the high self-esteem. Woohoo! Enzio sent Gia a gift. That's so nice of you, Enzio. Okay. Add birthday candles and then let's get Ferenzo in here to blow out the candles. Okay. Could we get one of you guys to come in here and maybe like help out? I need you guys to baby care. Go give Luca a bath. Bad potty guidance and ouch from breastfeeding. Poor girl. And then mama needs to take a shower and we're going to get, yeah, Gerardo already and then I missed Ferenzo aging up too the only one I got was Gia I'm sorry you guys okay so he's an insider and also he's clumsy cute teen he's gonna be goal oriented sure Dominic sent Ferenzo a gift congratulations you got this Alicia whoa a bunch of people sent Ferenzo gifts he must have been friends with everybody hurry and add birthday candles and then I'm gonna have you cook like a giant garden salad for everybody. Then you can mop and do your homework. No way. Oh my gosh. Everything is breaking. He is disgusting, but he is asleep. So that's good. Okay. Maybe let's just go ahead and have mama repair here. This is like a little bit risky having her do this. So I'm going to save really quick. First bath milestone for Luca. Cute. Okay. And then Luca is hungry. So I think I'm going to see if Roberto can't feed him as well. Maybe care, feed, bottle feed, and do your homework. All right. Mama Stella did fix our fridge for us. So that's awesome. Saved us a little bit of money. Let's go ahead and scavenge for parts here. And then I'm going to have her throw that away. And then we can do some surrealism paintings, I suppose. Oh, is he having a milestone? Okay. Luca seems to be having a milestone. Roll over to tummy milestone unlocked. That's good. Teens are all doing homework. Oh my gosh. Ignacio, I completely forgot about. And he was just riding his bike literally all night. Oh, and he's sick too. Why does everybody have to be sick? This is terrible. Okay, and then mom has done a bunch of more paintings. So let's go ahead and put those in here. Oh, I do have some stuff I can sell. So let's go ahead and go through this. An absolute ton of seed packets here. Okay, so by selling all of that stuff that we don't need, we make 2,569 simoleons. Not bad. All right, let's see who's done with their homework. Roberto will be... So I'm going to have him attend to the table for us so that mom can kind of work on the kids here. Let's see. We have got Cortez who will need some attention. I'm going to have mom go ahead and run and get some sleep. This one is trying to go to sleep and hopefully doesn't wake up his big brother who's sleeping right there. Lorenzo's doing his homework in here and then we'll get you to clean up. I actually might have Lorenzo make some more food. He might be my cook. 
What could I have him make? Some eggs and toast. I'm kind of worried that he's going to burn my house down. Never mind. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I changed my mind. All right, you guys. Well, Mama Stella is bunked down for right now, is having a good sleep. And I think I'm going to go ahead and end this part right here before anything else happens and gets too crazy. But I think we did a really good. We did age up our triplets. So hopefully next time we'll be able to fully age them up and get them out. If not, get them at least to be A students and have all of it. Um, one of their traits, probably their responsibility trait, because it seems to be the easiest um, to be fully maxed out so that they um, will be responsible young adults. Yeah. And um, with that said, next time you come back, they should also have um, makeovers, like I said, in I believe the last part or maybe the part before that. I'm going to start doing those off camera so you guys will notice that they change on update between episodes. But yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did make it this far in the video, be sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys!